Exodia, obliterate! Hey, what is up, guys? This is Dragon Duelist here, and today I'm bringing you a unboxing video of uh, the Emperor of Darkness structure deck that I said I was gonna open for you guys, and now I'm doing it now. I picked up three boxes, but I'm only gonna open one right now, and then I'm probably gonna do a deck profile of my version of the deck. So let's get started. Uh, I've been waiting for this to come out for a good amount of time. Surroundabouts. Probably when I first heard they were getting a structure deck. I pretty much assumed that they were gonna rule the format like they did in the OCG. Is, uh, pretty nice if you guys can see that whole thing so yeah it's pretty nice then we got the deck itself okay let's adjust the camera Little focus. Got ether, hubris, adios, and idea, which is spelled with an E in the TCG. It's pretty weird. And then we have Pantheism. Then we have all of the original monarchs which is pretty cool. Then we got the vessels. Um, Landrove is a pretty cool vessel. It uh, flips the monster face down and allows you to special summon it. And the thunder vessel is pretty cool because it special summons itself with a token. So that's pretty nice. And now uh, we have some other like really good cards. Fusionary Snatcher. Tragodia, Dandelion, Mathematician, really good card. Level Eater, Battle Fader, Rainbow Karibo. Then we have the Monarch Spells, Soul Exchange, Enemy Controller, Dice Phone. I don't know why this is in here. Um, Soul Charge, really good, and it's common. Uh, the Monarch Traps, Prime and First. Are the new ones essentially they special summon themselves to be used as a tribute escalation monarchs awaken erupt by the order of the emperor and pinpoint guard and then finally we have a token so uh yeah let me know what you guys think of this structure deck in the comments down below like this video if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel for more um probably gonna bring you guys a deck profile um soon and uh, yeah, till then, see you guys later. Peace.